Hello friends, Jatendra Sharma here. So today we will be, uh, we will be demoing this IoT demo. So a uh, little bit about the project. This project aims at connecting LED to the internet, and um, for that matter, you can actually connect anything, any output device to LED. Uh, maybe uh, with some kind of relay and uh, read switches. Uh, but basically, you can connect any kind of output device to uh, in place of this LED. Also, it connects a sensor and broadcasts the sensor data over internet. Um, you can see a nice graph uh, when I will be launching the my app. Uh, the sensor data will be published over that app. Okay. A web app is also created to provide a user interface, like I have said. Uh, so the project elements will be uh, like this. Hard in a hardware hardware element, I am using Raspberry Pi. Uh, an A2D converter is being used because Raspberry Pi don't come uh, with an A2D converter. Um, then a sensor is uh, used, which is uh, uh, in our case a photoresistor, and an LED as an output device. In software elements, there are Flask, uh, which is a Python-based uh, web framework. Uh, using Flask, I have created a web app. Uh, Paho MQTT client library is used. Uh, we will be using MQTT protocol for the, our Internet of Thing uh, communication. So Paho is a nice, nice framework that provides client library to connect to the broker via MQTT. Also, we have used Float, which is basically a JavaScript graphi uh, graphing uh, platform. So it's written in JavaScript and provides a nice interface for uh, by drawing out graphs. And lastly, we are using IBM Bluemix uh, to for uh, launching our app to the cloud. So let me show you uh, our hardware piece. So I've already created the project. This is our Raspberry Pi 3. It, uh, it comes uh, integrated with the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi model. So we need not to uh, supply any external antenna and all those kind of things. Uh, as here you can see this is our A2D converter. I am using MCP3008 which is having 8 channels of A2D converter. Uh, next uh, um, here is our photoresistor. You might not be able to see it. Let me zoom in a bit, little bit. So this here, this little guy here is our photoresistor. And uh, we are having our LED at over here. This will be blinking in a moment. And all these are connection I will be providing in my blog. So basically this is the hardware structure. Now let me turn on the uh, Raspberry Pi. So the reason I I will I'm using MQTT protocol is because it's very lightweight, uh, and it's uh, uh, actually f uh, actually it was framed for very constrained systems where uh, uh, not much overhead are um, can be provided in communication infrastructure. Okay. So by the time our uh, Raspberry Pi ha would have started, I am opening a VNC server, VNC connection. My Raspberry Pi is already uh, configured to launch a web server, uh, to launch a VNC server, so that it can be connected with remotely. I'm going to connect with it. Okay, so here you are. So this is our Raspberry Pi. I'm going to programming Python 2. So Python 2.7 is uh, used um, for entire uh, project. So this this is my code, little code. This little code is doing what it is taking uh, input from the sensor data when uh, when when it uh, it will be requested, and also uh, using this script only we will be uh, we will be controlling our LED which is attached to pin number eleven of our Raspberry Pi. So I am going to run this script, run module. Okay, as you can see, LED attached to pin number eleven. Okay, and th this is connected to the broker. So, what is our broker? So, for this project, I am using Mosquito Free uh, a Broker. That is a public broker, and um, you can see that thing over here when you type Mosquito Public Broker. Here you are. So, that's the address of the public broker. This is uh, public, and uh, it's for only test usage. Uh, you can simply copy this address and uh, supply uh, supply this address to the client uh, which will be connected to this broker. So our application here is now connected to this broker only at this address test.mosquito.org and we will be tra transferring all of our messages to this broker. Now, uh, 
okay so everything is configured and everything is in uh, working position in raspberry pi and let me open up my app which is uh, which i have currently launched with bluemix uh, you can see this is fetch data okay and this is the bluemix dashboard i am using a simple memory code of 128 mb only and now i can go to this uh, url to launch my web app okay so here it is so as you can see this is our web app it is quite simple uh, because this is of course for demo purpose only i haven't uh, uh, i haven't put much in uh, designing the app so but it is uh, entirely functional so now i will put on this thing over here and what you have to do you have to notice this led over here when i click this button uh, this led will go on and off and now i am going to click it So here it is. Okay, uh, for uh, better demonstration, let me stick them side by side. So let me stick it side by side. Uh, where it is? This thing here. This thing here. Fine. Uh, now this is currently in off position. I am going to put it in off now. And here you go. You can see that uh, it is uh, not exactly real time, but it is very near to real time as you can see and there is also some uh, lag in this camera so you cannot see it um, but uh, I am able to see it that uh, um, it is a uh, nearly real time so it's going on and off similarly in the similar manner uh, like I have connected this LED you can connect any output device uh, if the device is very much power serving so you can connect it via some uh, uh, some kind of switch uh, switching arrangement like relays solid state relays or read switch of some kind okay uh, but for my purpose i'm only using led which is withdrawing a minimum of current so um, raspberry pi can support it okay so that's for uh, functioning fine okay now let me move to another demo that is sensor demo this was the demo for led now i'm going to get demo for sensor data okay so we have begun this so what it is doing uh, we are having a photo resistor which is over here Okay, I have shown you to you earlier. So that photo register is taking on um, data continuously, um, requesting for data from this sensor. Our app is uh, continuously requesting data from this sensor, and that sensor data is being uh, grabbed over here. So let me uh, show you the variation. Okay, I am going to put my hand over this photo register, and now it is uh, uh, without any kind of light. So as you can see here this has gone to pitch dark region uh, so here i have created column you can see it has it has gone to the pitch dark region because i have entirely covered the module now i am going to remove my hands and it should come down okay so that's real time it's nearly real time yeah. now i am going to lit the light of uh, using my flashlight of mobile let me see what variation it brought and yeah it has dropped below uh, very bright region so as you can see it's very bright here and our sensor is uh, reading it accurately fine so this completes the demo and uh, one more thing i would like to share is this that the advantage of launching our app over um, bluemix and um, uh, similar cl uh, cloud platform service is this that you can access uh, this from any any kind of uh, uh, device which actually connects to internet so I am having here my mobile and uh, I can demonstrate it to you that how can I control this with my mobile so fetch data app this is my URL okay so we here we are connected uh, you might not be able to see my screen from here so okay okay so it's showing inverted okay it's showing inverted damn okay but basically this is this this is the screen so when i click on it should turn on and yes that's working so that's the advantage of launching a, a web app